Hello everybody! In this, starting from this video, we will start to learn our last chapter for this semester. Uh, so we're going to learn chapter 15, Monetary Policy. And so if you are reading a book, and make sure you are reading the right chapter, chapter 15. So, before you start to learn this chapter, I hope you can review what you, we already learned from the previous uh, module, chapter uh, about the physical policy. Because monetary and physical policy are the two main type of policy the government will use to close up the inflationary and uh, um, uh, uh, recession, recessionary gap, and also try to meet the macroeconomic goals. And so in this chapter, and especially for this video, I will introduce uh, what we're going to learn in this chapter and also what is the definition for monetary policy. So this chapter examines the relative effectiveness of the monetary policy. And you have to know that uh, um, actually uh, control over the monetary supply is a critical policy tool for altering the macroeconomic outcomes. So how so? So government can change in the quantity of the mon monetary supply in the circular, uh, circular flow, so it can in influence the money's value in the marketplace. And the in uh, changing the value of the money, which means uh, you have to know how the value of the money is measured. So the value of the money is measured by the interest rate, which is the opportunity cost for the money. And we will explain in the later videos why so. So the interest rates and the access to credit are basic determinants of the spending behavior. And so in, uh, changing the value of the money, which is indirectly um, affecting the interest rate, and which will in turn affect the aggregate demand. And so in this chapter, we will explore the following three um, aspects. First, what, uh, what is the relationship between money supply, interest rates, and aggregate demand? And how can the Fed use its control of the money supply or interest rate to alter macro outcomes? And how effective is monetary policy compared to the fiscal policy? As I said, uh, before we move on the detail about monetary policy, and here I want to very uh, basically tell you the difference between monetary and physical policy. So physical policy we learned from last time we know it is the government use the taxation and the government uh, um, spending to affect the macro outcomes. So how about the monetary policy? So far you listen a lot of the information with monetary policy. You didn't hear taxation, you didn't hear the government spending. So actually for money, monetary policy we mean the use of the money and credit control to influence the macroeconomic outcomes. So that is the definition for macro policy. So the main difference between physical and monetary policy, you can see that so monetary policy are the policy that the government controlling money and the credit. For the physical policy, we talk about government using the government purchase power and also the taxation to affect the macroeconomic outcomes. So that's are the main difference. So in next video, we will discuss the money market, and especially market supply and market demand. So make sure when we are learning that uh, in learning the next video, and you will keep refresh your memory and comparing what's the difference between the market mo money market and the regular product market. So remember, for the product market, we also have supply and demand. And also in the money entry market, we also talk about supply and demand. So how does demand curve look like for money of how the money demand curve look like and how the money supply curve look like. So we'll spend a lot of time to discuss that in next video.